The Strawberry River Corridor was consumed in a firestorm from August 1 through September 2018 in what was named the Dollar Ridge Fire. The fire was hot enough to explode rocks and erratic enough to leave a few green stands that will disperse seeds in the future. Before the fire, the Strawberry River was a prime, blue ribbon designated trout stream on the south slope of the Uinta Mountains of Utah. Brown trout and Colorado River cutthroat trout swam these waters full of small bait fish and full of small aquatic insects living off the vegetation in the river. All of the river from just above Willow Creek to a ways below Red Creek is now smothered, first in ash, then followed with gravel and silt from landslides and violent flash floods caused by heavy late summer thunderstorms. Mostly, the canyon was Utah State land, a wildlife management area, with some private property mixed in. The state could not contain the fire. Instead, the federal Great Basin interagency fire teams with, at peak, nearly 900 firefighters fought the blaze for nearly two months. 90 homes or summer cabins burned and a thousand more were evacuated. Long ago, the river carved a stunning canyon with cold water pools, riffles, runs, and rapids in a transition canyon. A transition from the high country on the southern flakes of Tabby Mountain and the Uintas and exiting out into the high plains and desert basin, joining the Green and Duchesne rivers. In this west to east running canyon, these north facing slopes were buried in tall green conifers, while the south facing walls were rabbit brush, mahogany, and sage. Shade in the summer and sun in the winter. The 18 mile Strawberry River and Canyon was full of life. High montane trees draped the north slopes, dropping down from the high plateaus. Coyotes and black bears wandered the canyon, keeping hikers and fishers honest. The stream is cleared now, but no life-sustaining vegetation survived in the stream bed. With no vegetation, no insect nymphs, no sculpin, and no trout survived below Willow Creek. Only a few weeks post-fire, surviving seeds were sprouting, and roots from deep below the burn were pushing up stems. There were hoof prints and coyote tracks two weeks after the fire, probably sooner. A few trout survived right up against the Soldier Creek Dam. Perhaps a few trout will swim up the river from the reservoir below. What to look for next is some green to return. As the aquatic vegetation reestablishes, the insects will return, as will the worms and sculpin. The deer and elk and moose will return with the terrestrial vegetation. Kingfishers, oozles, eagles, and osprey all hunted the fish in the river. And this osprey, now looking in vain, will find fish again. <laughs>